I'm a delegate presenter. I'm here to present my colleague's work on effective autoencoder for unsupervised sparse representation. This work has been uh, done in Wayne State University by Faria Menaz. Let's talk very shortly about the motivation of the authors on this work. Uh, in this work, uh, the authors decided to work on learning the features and also a sparse representation of the features. So why learning features? Because in the domain of big data, if we learn the features automatically through the unsupervised learning, uh, it will be more applicable because our data will have very dimensions. And uh, the next motivation is that why a sparse representation? The same answer, because uh, a sparseness will be more uh, applicable if you have uh, data with very high dimensionality. So here I'm going to talk about the objectives of this work and the main contribution. Then I will talk about the framework, the formulation of this framework, and the main part of the work, which is the optimization. And then uh, we will show some experimental and results on classification and face recognition. And at the end, you will see uh, our, uh, prog uh, our program on our future work. Uh, so the objective of this, this work is that learning the sparse representation can be very challenging because this problem is non-convex property problem and also it has a large Hessian computation involved in it. So we need a new, a new optimization technique which should uh, be faster, faster than gradient descent. So based on the, these motivations, this is the main contribution of this work. In this work, a, an auto-sparse encoder is implemented, and also for the first time, a sequential minimal optimizer, SMO, uh, which is faster, uh, and it doesn't have a, a gradient, uh, the Hessian computation, uh, is also implemented. So here you can see the framework of this module. Uh, you can see uh, uh, this module has two parts, one encoder and one decoder. Uh, in the first part in the encoder, the image patches will be given as an input uh, to the encoder. The encoder will map these inputs to the code vectors and then uh, the, the decoder will start the work and it will uh, reconstruct the input uh, to be um, as close as possible to the samples. So here is some details about this module, which is phase fast auto sparse encoder. Uh, there is a two part uh, encoder and a decoder where the encoder maps the input to code vector and the decoder uh, tries to approximate the input sample. Here you can see the main uh, formulation of this work. Uh, in this work, we have an optimization problem. This optimization problem uh, has two phases. In the first phase, we have to infer the sparse code vector. And in the second phase, uh, we have to adjust both weights and the dictionary. So the formula, you can see an optimization problem over the dictionary D and the code vector Z and the weights W. So in that formulation, in the first part, uh, uh, we are going to uh, infer the sparse uh, code vector. So for the first time, we introduced the sequential minimal optimizer, SMO, uh, which is faster than gradient descent method, and it avoids the expensive Hessian computation. So you can see the formulation of our minimal subproblem, which for this subproblem, we proved the KKT, uh, the necessary and sufficient optimality condition. Uh, and uh, we derived this analytical solution that you can see in the formula form, uh, which this part is the main contribution of this work. Uh, this one is the second phase. After we did this optimization and uh, the inference, we go to the second phase of learning the weights and also learning the dictionary. And after that, uh, we use only one step of the, gradient, uh, the stochastic gradient descent, which makes this algorithm much faster. 
We are going to evaluate this uh, module, the phase module. Uh, so we used it in classification and also face recognition. The first part, uh, I'm going to show the results on some classifications. Uh, you can see the pipeline of uh, our work. First, we have some data, the unlabeled data, which we are using our unsupervised learning to learn the features. Then in the second, uh, the second phase, we use some classification methods like SVM or DBN. And um, using these features, we do the classification so that we can uh, evaluate uh, the accuracy of our, our algorithm uh, with the peers. Here you can see the running time of this algorithm and the comparison of this algorithm with some other algorithms uh, regarding due to, to the patch size and also the feature numbers. As you can see, as the number of patches and also the number of features uh, becomes uh, more and more, these algorithms grows linearly, while the other algorithms usually grows exponentially, which shows that this algorithm can be more scalable. So uh, we uh, decided to uh, apply this algorithm on Caltech database, uh, and uh, we used the phase module and also the DNN of uh, two layers. We made this decision because we wanted to be similar to the peer algorithms uh, to compare the classification results. As you can see in the last line, the classification results of this algorithm uh, is higher than the, uh, the other ones. We also applied this uh, algorithm again with the DNN two layer of classification method on the uh, CIFAR database. And we have the result of 78.8% uh, accuracy, which is uh, higher than the other ones. And uh, uh, you can see uh, the accuracy is higher and also the timing for this algorithm is faster. Beside the classification, we compare the recognition rate of this algorithm with some other algorithms on the AR uh, database. As you see here, we use the SVM uh, beside this uh, phase module, and you can see that, uh, for example, after five train, uh, we have the accuracy of 89.12, which this shows that this algorithm is better than the uh, similar single layer learnings. And uh, this algorithm on database also uh, works faster. So um, as conclusion, this algorithm is speed of the unsupervised learning, and it extracts better features because the classification results were higher. So it shows that uh, other than the speeding of the, the learning, uh, the Results are more accurate, the features that are extracted are better features. And also, the main contribution of the work was that a new optimization technique was introduced for the first time, which has speed up the whole process. Um, so in the future, as this algorithm is already good, uh, has a very good uh, scalability, the authors are going to implement this algorithm with MapReduce to give it a, a higher scalability uh, property. So here are some reference, the main reference of the work if you want to go through the details. And as the others are not here, uh, you can contact them uh, for uh, any more questions. Thank you.